Hello everyone. In this video, we shall analyze why Toyota, the renowned Japanese automotive manufacturer, a few months ago made a shocking announcement of abandoning all their plans pertaining to electric vehicles and instead direct their focus towards a different technological avenue, one they are sure is more promising. Yes, this decision has left many surprised, causing us to think what is the real future trajectory of the industry's leading giant. See, as we all are aware, the electric vehicle sector has experienced a remarkable surge in recent years. With numerous automotive manufacturers venturing into the domain, this unexpected move by Toyota has left us questioning their motives and contemplating the technology they are currently exploring. Let us understand what compelled Toyota to take such an unconventional step and what implication does this hold for the future. To provide some context, let us examine the flourishing electrical vehicle industry. In 2021, the global sales of electric vehicles reached an impressive 6.6 .6 million units, making a significant increase from 2.1 million units sold in 2019. The number continued to soar in 2022, reaching a staggering 10.5 million units. Amidst the electrical vehicle revolution, Toyota stands upon, while other manufacturers such as Tesla, Ford, Volkswagen and Honda are investing billions of dollars to catch up. Toyota has chosen a distinct course of action. They firmly believe that electric vehicles are not the optimal solution for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, citing challenges associated with power grid and battery supply chain. See, rather than adhering to the electric vehicle trend, Toyota has directed its attention towards a different technology, one they believe holds a greater promise. This technology, ladies and gentlemen, is hydrogen. Yes, you heard it, hydrogen. The news of Toyota's transition to hydrogen car has received mixed reaction from experts and consumers. Some are sure about the potential of hydrogen fuel cells to power a greener future while others remain skeptical about its viability. Now let us understand why Toyota's decision might be actually good for them, for which we will see the history of Toyota. See, Toyota's decision to pursue hydrogen is not without merit. As a global leader in the automotive industry, Toyota has a good track of innovation. They have introduced popular models like Corolla, which sold over 50 million units worldwide. In 2022, Toyota accounted for 11.5% of all vehicles sold globally, surpassing both Volkswagen and Honda. While Toyota has only launched one pure electric vehicle model thus far, it faced sets back with the recourse due to safety concern. See, nonetheless, Toyota's legacy of success extends beyond electrical vehicles. They have been at the forefront of creating new car segments and markets. The Toyota Celica, a popular and affordable sports car, dominated its category for years. The Toyota Yaris, a reliable and efficient subcompact car, boasted remarkable durability and fuel efficiency. And who could not forget the iconic Toyota Prius, which pioneered the hybrid craze. The next question is what makes them so sure of their decision? See, Toyota's commitment to hydrogen extends beyond fuel cell vehicles. They have developed an experimental internal combustion engine powered by hydrogen. It is based on their renowned 1.6 liter 3 cylinder turbocharged engine. These engines offer comparable horsepower to their gasoline counterparts while ensuring rapid refueling capabilities. Hydrogen fuel cars present numerous advantages. By harnessing the most abundant element in the universe, the production process becomes cleaner, easier, and more effective compared to a battery powered electric car. See, moreover, hydrogen fuel cars produce zero emissions, contributing to a greener environment. They also offer extended driving ranges and quicker refueling times compared to electric vehicles. Toyota has emerged as a pioneer in the hydrogen field with the Toyota Mirai, leading the charge since 2014. Other automakers such as Honda and Hyundai have followed the path with their own hydrogen powered vehicles. But what is the actual reason for not going the EV way? This could be answered by analyzing the ideology that people at Toyota believe in. See, the decision can be tracked back to the strong convictions of their former CEO, Akio Toyota, who expressed uncertainties about EVs. He believed that they were overhyped and unfriendly for the environment during a press conference in Las Vegas. The departing CEO emphasized that Toyota's goal remains unaltered, to cater a diverse range of customers by offering a variety of power and options from hybrids to hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and to even a traditional internal combustion engine models. Toyota defends its strategy by acknowledging two things. One is the EV adoption rate and infrastructure development that vary across different regions. The adoption of electric vehicle is not uniform throughout the world due to which Toyota aims to provide customers with choices while gaining a deeper understanding of market trends before fully committing to the electric vehicle production. See, Toyota's major market include United States, China, Japan, Canada, Australia and they account for a substantial portion of the global sales. 
These countries demonstrate high rates of EV adoption and offer governmental incentives for transitioning to electrical vehicles. However, Toyota's presence in the other markets such as Indonesia and Thailand is less pronounced. See, despite the pressure from analysts and investors of Toyota to align with the competitors, the company remains resolute in its long-term plans. As the world's largest car maker by production volume, Toyota operates with a visionary perspective that expands far beyond its immediate future. See, Toyota's newly appointed CEO, Koji Sato, is aligned with the company's philosophy and emphasizes the importance of adaptability in tailoring products and energy solutions to varying carbon-neutral requirements across diverse markets. The electric vehicles undeniably lead the current race. Toyota's diverse strategy acknowledges that not everyone perceives EV as the ultimate solution. They understand that a significant portion of the population still prefers conventional vehicles. Toyota aims to cater these customers while exploring hydrogen as a potential alternative. See, the automotive industry finds itself as a crossroad, where two distinct technologies stand in the verge of convergence. The video presents us with a challenging question. Is Toyota making a sensible decision by sticking to the diversified strategy or are they overlooking the potential of electric vehicles and forfeiting an opportunity to lead the transition towards an all-electric future? We never know, all we can do is watch the market play for itself. I hope you liked the video, now you understand why Toyota didn't take the EV path unlike others in the automotive industry. And make sure to like, share and follow the video and comment your views and opinions in the comment box. And we shall meet you soon, goodbye.